Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally back from holiday. Um, by the way, I had the best time. Um, I'm gonna do a blog post on the hotel because it was literally amazing. And I, everyone I meet, I'm like, I'd recommend it, I'd recommend it. But I actually would, it was really, really nice. Um, so I went to Rhodes in Greece. Um, and I got back on Saturday, well, Sunday. And um, today's Thursday, by the way. So I've had four days back. And on Monday I decided that what I wanted to film was a... Don't ask me why, but I wanted to like put my mindset that I was going back to uni. And that, because I remember my first year of uni, I turned up to uni with all these clothes. And I ended up buying loads of new ones because the clothes that I packed just like weren't clothes that I ended up wearing. So I decided that I was going to go to Primark and pick up a few things that I think are like a staple in the freshers wardrobe or uni wardrobe. So I've got a few little outfits um, that I'm going to try on and show you. So it's kind of like a Primark haul, kind of like getting ready for autumn, kind of like a uh, things that you should consider taking to uni. You've probably already thought this anyway, but I just remember when I went to uni, even like for nights out, I turned up with like dresses and heels, and then I ended up going out in like denim shorts and trainers um, some of the time, not, not obviously all the time. Um, but I've combined a few different outfits, um, some, some like more for like chilling, whatever, but um, yeah, we'll see how they get on. I don't even know what I'm talking about now. See how they get on. Can you tell I'm still in holiday mode? Like I literally can't get my head back in the routine of getting back into swing, into swing, into things. Help! Okay, anyway, I'm just gonna stop rambling. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you what I've got and I'll try it on. Um, and yeah, if you're going to uni in a few weeks, then I'm very jealous of you. You're gonna have the best time of your life. So yeah, let's get started. Right, so first up is, well, you know me, I live in like loungewear. I bought another pair of the leggings that I have in probably every Primark haul because I wear them all the time. Um, and they still obviously have them in there. They've also got them in grey, I think. Um, so if black's not your thing, they've got grey. So I just got the leggings because sometimes when I went into uni, I just wanted to like just walk in in like leggings and a jumper and be really comfortable, especially in winter when it's like horrible and raining. And so to go with it, I got this cropped jumper which says um, live more, worry less, which if you saw my last video, you'll know that that's basically made for me. So it was five pounds, I got a size 10 to 12. Um, and then it's just so easy to chuck on, and especially after a hangover, when you've got to be up for uni and you've got like five minutes to get ready. Like, you can literally just chuck it on and turn up and be like, yeah, fine. They had loads of different ones in there actually. They had like um, pink cropped hoodies, like grey ones, um, just plain white ones. So that I, if I could buy all of them, I probably would. Um, but I just probably would never wear them. Duh, duh, duh. So yeah, um, they're also good um, for like, if you're coming home for the weekend and you want to travel in something comfy, then you, and you don't want to sit in like jeans then these are perfect. And the leggings aren't see-through, as I said before. So you've got a really cheap hangover outfit there for £10. Whilst we're on the theme of like hangovers bed, like loungewear chilling, um, I had to pick up this top because, I don't know if you've seen, Primark have got the uh, Mean Girls like range. So um, I got this and I'm gonna wear it as like a night, I'm, I'm gonna wear it, clearly I'm going back to uni. I would probably wear this as like a night shirt or just like chilling around my flat with like some shorts or whatever. I got an oversized one because um, I wanted it to be like, a, not like a dress, but you know what I mean. So it says you can't sit with us. Obviously you can, but. So it's just literally plain white shirt, eight pounds, and I just thought it's nice to just sort of have, just to chill around in. If you're doing like coursework or if you're hungover or if you don't go out but you want to just be comfy, then obviously something like that is really fine. And it's, it's not like it's, I just feel like it's quite plain, like slogan tops are everywhere. So yeah, it's cheap and cheerful really. You can just chill in it. Um, I got that in a size 18 to 20 because I wanted it to be quite long on me as well. Um, and it is relatively long, but I'll show you in the trial anyway so you can see. But yeah, Mean Girls range is really, really good. Um, and I, yeah, I got that for five pounds. Sorry, I got that for eight pounds. Then next up, when I was at uni, I basically lived in my denim jacket because I went to Bournemouth and for the first like month and a half, two months, it was actually really nice weather, um, especially in my first year. So it was kind of warm. So all these like winter jumpers that I packed, I'd never wear because it was actually really warm. So I picked up this denim jacket dress. I'm gonna call it like a denim dress, jacket dress. Because as you can see, it's like really distressed. Um, it's really lo long sleeved um, and it's long. So I'd obviously can wear this as a dress or you can wear it um, just like literally over the top of like a long a long top. You can tie it around, tie it up as a shirt, like tie it, tie it around your waist, literally so many different things you can do with it. And it was only 15 pounds. But yeah, I just think they're really easy to chuck on. Like, sometimes if I wear 
like a crop top and leggings. I want to have like something around my waist so that if it does get cold or if it rains, which let's be honest, we're in England, so it will do. Um, you can just tuck something else on. But yeah, I also thought it's good for a night out or for daytime, literally either. Um, so I'm gonna try this on and show you a few different ways how you can wear it. Um, and then you can kind of get a feel for it. So this is more like a piece. I'm gonna probably show you how to style up a little bit more. Um, but I got that in a size eight. Um, it did come up a little bit big actually. So normally I'd be a ten, as you know. But I got an eight. Actually, speaking of weight, I when I was away, I put on eight pounds in a week. That's more than a pound a day because I went for seven days. So like a pound and a, a bit or whatever it is. So before I went, I was like, oh, I'm going to be really healthy. I'm going to have a few things. So like the first day, I had like tuna steak and salad, and then um, it went downhill from there. And I would have three plates for breakfast, three plates for lunch, three plates for dinner, and then snack bar at like midnight and cocktails. Um, and I put on eight pounds. So. Um, I was probably being a bit optimistic when I bought the size 8 dress, but um, you're on holiday, there's no point of going away and not enjoying yourself. And I've got back into my routine now, so I'm feeling, feeling like slowly it's coming off, but I literally stepped on the scales and was like, that is a sad step. For the rest of the day I was sulking. But then I ate um, five boxes of Oreos, white chocolate ones, if you haven't tried them you need to. Actually I've got one packet left and they're just going to be like, I probably don't even want to eat them because I want to save them up, but white chocolate Oreos are the one. And then I moan that I put on weight, so we're just going to move on to the next one. Next up, I've got a blouse. Next up, I've got a blouse, which, I'm going to be honest, when I saw it, I was like, ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. And my mum was with me, good old Teresa, and she was like, I really like that. So she was like, try it on, it'll look better on. So there was only a size 12 left, so I got a size 12. And this is the blouse. So off, it just looks a bit plain, doesn't it, really? It still looks cute with like some little daisy detail. It was only £10, so I thought, okay, I'll try it on. So I tried it on in the fitting room, and I actually really loved it. So um, I'm, I've got this um, to pair with two skirts, because I just picked up two skirts that both coincidentally went with it. Or you could obviously wear it with like jeans, and or you can wear it on like a night with a nice bralette underneath. So many different things you could do with a, like a blouse like this. So it literally can be daytime or nighttime. And I know that like sometimes if you're going out for drinks in the evening, you don't know if you're going to end up going out after. This is like perfect for like dinner, and then takes you through um, out afterwards. So I've got that in a size 12, but I probably I probably quite like it in a 12 to be honest. Um, I wouldn't have gone down to a size 10. I quite like the fact that it's a bit baggy. But I'll show you the skirts that I paired it with anyway. So the first one is this little black mini skirt. Now I'm going to be honest. I did used to be a size 8 in their skirts, um, but. I went into the change room with a size 8 and was like, yeah, yeah, that's fine, probably don't need to try it on mum. Mum was like, well, I think you should try it on anyway, just to be safe. So I was like, yeah, okay. I tried it on and um, I split the zip. So um, needless to say, mum was actually outside the fitting room and all she could hear was a slight tear and I just heard her giggling and I was not in the mood at that point. I was like, right. So I had to squeeze it past down my hips, fight, go out, lick. I felt awful by the way because I did hand it back to the man. I probably should have told him that I ripped it, but. So if, if you've gone into Primark in Basin so can you've picked up this skirt in a size 8 and it's got a rip down it, I'm really sorry I ate too much on holiday. But anyway, I found a size 10 and I was in luck. So it's really nice, got a little pocket detail on the side with the little silver bits and that with the blouse looks really, really nice. Again, I could pull that off for a night out or for just casual daytime. So that was the first one. And then as I was going to the till, this always happens, I get towards the till and then I, my eyes just go, I found this skirt. And that um, is £8, again a size 10. So I saw this when I was originally walking around and I was like, okay, yeah, that's cool. But then obviously I didn't take it to the changing rooms. Came back out towards the teal, found it, and I was like, yeah, I like that. So um, it happens to go with the blouse. I didn't pick it up to go with it, um, but it just coincidentally does. So it's like faux suede, got a little zip at the back. Um, but yeah, I just think these skirts are really cute because you can literally do whatever with them. You don't have to wear them with like a blouse, you can wear them to uni with like tights, boots and a jumper or just on a night out if you want to, with heels, whatever. Um, they're quite versatile and obviously cheap, so you can't really go wrong. Then next up, this is one of my mum's picks, um, she spotted it, um, is this jumper. So it's like burgundy and beige um, with the bow detail on the sleeve. I They had this in two colours and I saw the first colour and then mum was like, I prefer the other one and I was like, oh I don't know. I was like, I'll try it on and I tried it on and I actually really like it. Um, I just think these, the sleeves, well the sleeves give it a bit more detail, it just takes it away from being like a plain jumper. Um, so I got this in a size medium and it was £13 and again, jumpers at uni are so comfortable, like especially if you're walking to uni when you're in winter. So this could go with jeans, leggings, um, jeggings like whatever you want to put them with really and it's quite autumn colour 
autumnal, should I say. So yeah, for £13 I thought it was really good, and it's actually really soft. I know that it probably looks a bit itchy, it's actually not. Um, so yeah, I got that one. And then I got two um, tops that are like £3 each. I did actually have one of these. Um, before I went but I bought um, another one so if you saw if you follow me on Instagram you'll see that I wore this cami dress with a denim jacket tied around my waist and um, heeled boots you could easily wear that for a night out or like an evening out you could wear the denim jacket and just wear the cami dress so I already had it in black which is this one which is on my Instagram and I got that in a size 10 which was three pounds um, and then when I went in there on Monday I got a white one just because I really like wearing them like I said, with denim jacket, you can you can literally do so much with them. You can put on a leather jacket and put it on with like jeans. You can do do so much with them, and for three pounds, it's just nice. Also, one good thing about these, they have adjustable straps, so I know that a lot of vest tops don't, which can be a bit of a pain. Um, but three pounds each, and they're just really easy to style with anything. So yeah, I got those. Then next up is my favourite product, um, because everyone need every girl needs to cut well girl, boy, anyone needs a coat when they go to uni and I used to find myself walking to uni in the rain all the time because it always rained in Bournemouth in winter, like always, I'd wake up and it was pouring down. So I picked up this coat and I think you're going to like it. So a few years ago, I think it was last year or the year before Zara did a coat just like this um, and it is literally like, I'm obsessed with it. There was one left and I got it but I'm sure that they'll restock them again. Um, so this is £30 and I got it in a size 10 and to be honest, um, I probably could have got a size 12. It is a little bit snug on me, um, as you'll probably see in the, in the um, try-on, um, but it's so soft, it's got the buckle detail, which you'll see in the try-on because I can't hold it up that high. But yeah, this will go, with, black goes with anything. So again, you can wear this out to uni, you can wear it if you're going out for dinner, like anything. Um, so I really like this and to be honest, I have a coat like this from um, a quiz that I wore last year and I lived in it the whole time because it just goes with everything and I feel like this is going to be the same for me this year. So yeah, £30 which isn't too bad um, and I feel like it will get you through the whole the whole time at uni. Also it's not, it is thick but it could also be worn like just off the shoulder um, if it's not too cold but it's like a little bit muggy. Um, so yeah, I like that. Every time I say muggy I think of Muggy Mike from Love Island and it's actually really embarrassing because I'm probably going to end up saying it one time. People will be like, what are you talking about? Like a year down the line. But anyway, that's that one. Also, I apologise. I'm being so chaff like rambly today. I don't know what's wrong with me, so I do apologise. Next up, I'm going to show you a few accessories. This may sound ridiculous, but I've wanted this belt for ages. And every time I go into Primark, they don't have my size. Um, but they did have it this time. So it's just this gold buckle belt, which is it looks a lot more expensive than it is when it's on. And it was literally... Um, two pounds and it doesn't look that cheap I don't think and it's quite similar to one that they have in Topshop so I'd say it's perfect for two pounds and again <coughs> they come in uh, tan and there was one in pink actually so yeah I got this one and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you it on with a pair of jeans basically because I don't really you don't really need to see a try on of a belt but I do like a zoom in in case you can't see on here um, I got that in a size small and normally on my hips slash waist um, I'm an eight to ten so sizing is quite accurate for the belts. Then while we're on the theme of uni and nights out, um, I saw this little cute bag which I just thought was perfect for a night out, like it's got the little chain, it's black, so again goes with everything. I don't know if you've noticed but everything in my wardrobe is normally black because it just goes with everything. And I have tested it and I can fit the 7 plus in there so if you've got a 7 plus there's so many bags that you can't fit your phone in but I have tested this one and it goes in there just about. So yeah, this can, again, this would be perfect for a night out. Probably wouldn't get away with this for uni because I don't know where you'd put all your laptops and notebooks and everything, but if you're in first year then, you know, there's not much work that gets done anyway. But yeah, these are, these are this is really cute. It did come in grey, I think, um, and it was £5, and yeah, I just think it's really cute. Then finally, I picked up these boots. So um, my last Primark haul, I picked up some studded boots, um, which, by the way, I can't find. My mum decided, bless her, that she was going to tidy my room um, when I was on holiday, love her for that, but I've come home and I've gone, oh, where are my boots? Oh, um, I think I put them away, they'll be in the wardrobe, not in the wardrobe, oh, okay, they'll be in my room, not in her room, oh, they'll be, they'll be in the cupboard, not in the cupboard, they've literally vanished from my house, they have vanished, and as you know, with Primark, if you go in there to find something the second time, it's never in there, so I'm really hoping that we find them, because they were really nice, but I have got these also, so I got wide feet because I have fat feet. Uh, not sure why you wanted to know that, but I told you anyway. So got a size five, and they were 
£16. And again, these just go with everything. You can wear them with the skirt and the blouse, you can wear them with jeans. Um, so again, very versatile. And they're not too high. Um, I used to walk to uni in heels that were like that. Or heels, boots, sorry, that had a little bit of a heel on them like that. So I didn't think they were too bad. And they've got the nice little bow detail at the back, which again, you'll see on the try-on. So yeah, I'm quite impressed with those. And then there's just one more item that I'm going to show you, which isn't clothing related, but I saw it and I was like, if I was, like, every time I was at uni, I'd always buy a new notebook. I don't know what, why, because when I was at school, I'd be the same. I'd be like, oh, I need a new notebook. I just love, like, opening a page and having a, like, don't ask me why. But anyway, I saw this and I was like, yep, yeah, need it. So, um, it was £3. It's got loads of little patterns on it. It says, like, two glam to give a damn. Just a girl with ideas. Um, why? Which... You'll, you'll be looking at that why when you're sat in a lecture after you've been out the night before and be like, why am I here? Let's fly away, like loads of stuff on there, lipstick, and it's just literally just a plain notebook. Um, but I think it's really cute. Um, so yeah, that's just a random thing. But yes, I hope I haven't rambled too much um, and that you've enjoyed my video. Probably looking back and embarrassing myself, but um, actually speaking of embarrassing myself, just got to tell you this really quickly, because if I don't tell anyone, it will just drive me mad. I don't know why anyone would want to know this. But the whole holiday, I was trying not to get my hair too wet, because um, I've obviously got blonde hair and I was worried that it would go green with the chlorine and everything. <clears throat> the last day we had, um, we had like four hours to waste at the hotel basically. So Zach was like, let's go in the spa. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So I was in the jacuzzi, had my hair on the top of my head, didn't get it wet. Then he was like, oh, come in the main pool. So I did. And he basically decided that he was going to splash me, so my hair got wet, and I was like, well, I'll just get it wet then. So I was like, swimming around, swimming around, and I was like, oh, can you do roly polies? And he was like, no. And I was like, I can. And I probably bigged this up, like, fully bigged this up. I was like, I'm really good at them. So I went underwater, held my nose, like, basically thought I did an amazing roly poly. It turned out that I was like going on my side. So I said to Zach, okay, why don't you help me? So when I go under, I'll hold my nose, and you just flip me over. Now, honestly, I did not expect, I go under, hug my nose, I flip, I was wearing my old poly bikini bottoms which if you've seen on my Instagram, they're quite high waisted, so the string comes up quite high. As I've gone to flip, my bikini bottoms have decided to fall off. So I've flipped, I've been under the water and I felt my bikini bottoms are around my ankles and I've basically, my bum has just gone like that on show to everyone in the swimming pool. I've come, I've come up from the water laughing my head off. Zach decided that he has to swim away because he's so embarrassed. There is a man at the other side of the pool that is like this. I've literally fully embarrassed myself. So I've, I've decided, okay, the only way I'm going to, I've swam under the water and laughed under the water. Come back up and Zach is in bits. He is laughing and I've never been so embarrassed. But it's safe to say I didn't do any more, but literally I just can't get over it. I thought, oh, this is a perfect roly poly. He's helping me spin over. He didn't think to pull up my bikini bottoms. He just sat there laughing. It happened so quickly that everyone must have just got a view of my bum, basically, and I, luckily it was in the inside pool, because if it was the outside pool where there was like hundreds of people, I'd have actually been mortified, but um, that is real embarrassment when it comes to it, but um, anyway, just had to get that off my chest because it was, it was making me die inside. Um, but anyway, um, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, um, and I know a few, of you, a few of you have been asking me to do some more makeup style videos, like my makeup collection and stuff, so I think I'll try and do that next week. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's been a little bit useful, but I will see you in another video very soon, I hope.